Welcome to all you baby carrots out there. <laughs> Hello, baby carrots. <laughs> as you, <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. That one's from Charlie Johnson. He said, "Frenchie is a carrot, and Tom likes babies." <laughs> Brilliant. I don't hate that. I don't. I, I don't hate that. So go. Let's try another one. All right. Welcome to the subsiders. Subsiders. Welcome to the orphans. Orphans isn't bad. It's a bit sad if there are some orphans but out that's, there. But yeah. then it's happy that we're welcoming them. They're oh, like, true. oh, people still like me. Hmm. My Welcome to the remainders. <laughs> the remainders. <laughs> that's a bit depressing. Is good. It's kind of depressing though. Like we've yeah, that, we've lost so many just, followers. It's just like a real nerdy term for misfits. Because misfits is the cool name to do it, but there someone tapes into their maths. No, because I'm thinking of like the remainders as if like we started off with a lot of people. Now oh, we're halfway we're through culling, the show. Cullen the week. <laughs> like a lot of people have left. Only the strong are left. The remainders. I like that. The derelicts. Mm. 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 No, remainders is still number one for me. Welcome to the Tom and Frenchie Alter Boys. That's too gender specific. I would like. She alter- wrote in brackets and girls. There you go. See that, and that's now it's getting too wordy. Mm. So if you don't know, we're trying to we're trying to cut f- figure out. <laughs> figure <laughs> Sorry, I just had a right. stroke. You almost said cunt. <laughs> no, I would say cunt. <laughs> um, yeah, we're trying to figure out a name for the people who listen to the podcast. For all you weekly listeners, we for all you preschoolers. No, that's a bit weird. That's too speci- That's too close to home. The coup kids, because you tried oh, to, start to start a coup. A coup. Yeah, but the only problem is it's, it's not spelled how it should be. Yeah, it sounds like coo coo kachoo. Coo coo kachoo. This is my favorite one. This is from Sam Davis. He says, "Maybe we're all just survivors. We survive each ep of the potty. We survive Tom, Robert Kelly, Rolf. We've survived Frenchie eating all kinds of fruit into the microphone. Yep. We've survived their fights." We've survived through some of their worst improvs and impersonations. <laughs> well, you've never done a bad improv, so that's... I reckon that's... You survived the Racka Racka Rap Battle, <laughs> the infamous episode 69. True. We survived Frenchie's COVID meltdown. The survivors. Shout out to all you survivors. Thanks for listening, the Tom and Frenchie survivors. Well, I that, like that the most. That's yeah. winning. What do you guys think? Um, let us know on socials. We'll if you have like a the vote survivors. on the Facebook page. Mm. Survivors, remainders, and other... And other <laughs> miscellaneous men. And uh, Tom's children. And, and 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 then we still got specific one like, I'm a survivor, but I'm a children. And then and then you can really Maybe we could do a new version. It. That'd be great if we did a version of um, Destiny's Child Survivor, but it was like a podcast theme that we I'm sung. Maybe we should try okay. it right now. I think off with we a, should do some let me just prop because <laughs> Sam Davis fucking wants it. <laughs> Let's get some, um, let me just find the karaoke version. As usual, there's got to be one, two, ten people who are tuning in to this episode for their first ever listen, Mm. and you are going to fucking start with a bang. Here we go. Get ready for this. You will not regret it. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to the potty. Do you have your passport? Yeah, intro, instrumental. Did you get your shots? What? Rolf Harris. Yeah. It's a long intro. Okay. Longer than expected. Eat your apples, motherfucker. Don't forget to eat your vegetables. R.I.P. Stephen Hawking. Scalmo! Now that you've had my life, I'm so much better. No, it's improv. (laughs) You're not singing the actual words. It's not karaoke. I got carried away with the karaoke because it was telling me the lyrics. (laughs) It's almost like, it's my chance to become Michelle. (laughs) Yeah, true. I go straight for Michelle. That's how much self-confidence I have. (laughs) I'm like, fuck, I wish I could be Michelle. I would have, yeah, I was trying to get Kelly, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I'm not a Beyonce either. (laughs) So now we know how it starts. Do you know how they say heaps of shit fast? Like... So you just said the words as well. It's hard. No, but I was showing the rhythm. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Go. Go on. I get it. You start. You go first. First. You go. You got it. Now we're out of COVID nineteen. Frenchie's feeling better. And I'm good, but he's still gonna start a coup. It didn't Don't quite worry, rhyme. Don't worry about fucking rhymes, bro. I think it's important for a song. Okay. Fine. Start again. All right. Here we go. Yeah. You just missed the start. Uh, you you wanted me drop, to do bro. the start. Bit you are well. doing the start. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Don't we're do back. line for line. Just we're do back, bit we're for back. bit, bro. Right. Sorry, we're, this is the first time we ever stuffed up. Yeah, we. <laughs> <laughs> You're surviving this. Oh. Yeah. Now, French, he's out of COVID. He's feeling better. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, let's go. What? How did you not get it that time? I said time? go bit for bit, not line for line. 
It's too fu- bit for bit, line for line. Well, that's the same thing. Now that our friend is out of COVID, he's feeling okay, better. Okay, right, let's go and without we're the song. Rape your ears forever. Okay. And we do you have your passport, R. Kelly? Oh, that didn't rhyme. We're going to never, I never, actually, never, never oh. land. Peter Pan, Captain Hook in your <laughs> bum. <bound>. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That was some racket shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Stomach, flamic, kickstomach. Jesus, I'm already off. I went to type in uh, Survivor lyrics to help us, but I just typed in Survivor R. Kelly. See, uh, that's why I'm not. That's why I wasn't sure about uh, the the nickname for all you listeners, the Survivors, because it is a. Uh, that's just because um the documentary is called Don't Surviving R. Kelly. That's why R. Remainders Kelly. is actually very good. All the, all the like Remainders Survivors. and because uh, then we can have a cool theme song. Yeah. They, okay. Well, it's not going. Can we just skip to the chorus? Because it's not really cool yet. We've. Uh, Oh, not, yeah. Not many surviving this bit. No, no, no. But I'm looking up... I need the lyrics so we can know what the fuck they say and then do our own parody. Version. Oh, so is this Here from the go. perspective of the listener? So they're singing this about the podcast? But that'll be confusing because we're like, going to be singing I'm a survivor. It. I'm going to listen. Frenchie and Tom are fucking killing me. They are so funny. French got a mad cock. Tom is a pedo and he won't ever stop. I'm a survivor. Oh, nice. Yeah, right. yeah I'm into that. I think we're onto something. Yeah, Just the chorus. Right. No, we can. We'll, we'll, we'll you, we can. We'll have a verse. Well, it should be like I'm a survivor of Tom and Franchi. I'll keep listening, even though they're pedophiles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was similar to what I did, yeah, but with yeah, a lot yeah. less rhythm. Oh yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> a lot more context, a lot more thought out, and um, that's my strength. Um, that is your strength. You are very good conceptually. Uh, but we're not yeah, both I think, pedophiles. I think You're the pedophilic one, remember? Well, I'm I didn't get I didn't get banned words. from TikTok. I'm the one who can't <laughs> pronounce words. I'm still on TikTok. Thing. They didn't find my secret chats to celebrity children. Oh, yo, that's so. There is the new greatest TikTok account Ooh. that has ever been formed. Okay. So, over the weekend, maybe it was Friday or Thursday, someone did a video, and if you don't get on TikTok much, there's this great trend where they will play the start of the video. It's Google Translate. Mm-hmm. They write the words in the Google, Google Audio. It's go, hello, you have a roof. And then it's a clip from real life. As someone's like at the cricket going, kick him in the boot or some shit like that. You know, yeah, it's like it's normally it's roses are red, violets are purple. Hello, it's me, I'm Urkel. Yeah, perfect. Stuff like that. Tom knows yeah. it. He's it's it's, TikTok it's normally much. that, isn't it? It's roses are red. Yeah, roses are red, yeah. whatever. You can start to have you on. It's supposed to be roses are red, but it's been going so long, people just start to have Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's like a poem. And what what have you seen lately? That's Someone finally put me my videos in one. Oh, no. Nice. And I, I reacted to it. I did it in a story, uh, uh, no, a reaction, where you just stare yeah, at yeah. it and you do a creepy face. You're like, oh, that's funny. Mm-hmm. And, and I'll show you the one he, he kicked it off with. I haven't seen it, yeah. Oh, bro, it's it's easily my new favourite account. It's uh, it's called Frenchy Poetry. Oh, beautiful. But I think he changed it after I, he or she, changed it after I uh, reacted to it because it got such a good response. Oh, so he's like, i got to capitalise on I this. Capitalize. He's a businessman. Yeah, bro. And he's crushing now. How many followers? Uh, 2,000. That's not bad. And it's only posting poems with mean it so let's listen to what i think i gotta find the first one first roses are red uh, uh oh yeah they are all roses are red you're right i'm roses smart are red, you're being a sook. <laughs> that's good <laughs> that's classic frenchie <laughs> that is the that vintage is, form yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So and they're all fucking fire. Was a uh, roses are red. I smack my pinata. Can I put my hakuna in your matata? <laughs> That's damn good. Right. <laughs> this guy's on fire. This kid's getting better. Let's. I'll uh, turn me up a little bit. Yep. Roses are red. You have a fat cat. Fully qualified, employed high school teacher in the Illawarra. <laughs> How fucked is that? <laughs> <laughs> that one took a while to get there. I was yeah. like, yeah, it doesn't rhyme. Roses are red, I have a small willy. Okay, would you like to dress me up like a Mexican transvestite then walk me on a leash to the beach while I repeatedly yell, My 
<laughs> the flows are off in some of them, but the delivery. Yeah, yeah. Roses are red. Your sister is Hannah. Can you sit on my face like a bandana? My sister is Hannah, so I'm Yo, I'm targeted. How does he know? I'm triggered. So th- Roses are red. I'm from Nepal. My TikTok account got deleted. At two hundred fifty thousand subscribers, so I'm ending it all. <laughs> that one blew That's up. That's good. That one blew up. Yeah. Then last one. Roses are red, my fingers are sticky. You can't got a fucking ciggy. <laughs> yeah, classic. Oh, I love so that. That's, uh, I love when people get creative, like our friends. Um, well, he's a, he must of the be podcast listeners. He get must creative. be a survivor. I yeah, think he's a survivor. Good on him. Stared or her. Or her. We're very Jeez. politically correct today. Mm. I think. Um, I think we just assume him because uh, young dudes are a lot more obsessed with us. That's true. That we've got um, you can usually spot our fans. Yeah, they're just a certain age demographic. Bro, I got uh, I was walking to Woolies today to get mints for my diet. <laughs> oh jeez, you're <laughs> still, still doing still that? Going. Only midweek though. Midweek now. <laughs> yeah, you not mean weekend. you mean during the week? During the week, or just yeah. Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> It's keep dropping down. He's like, oh, just a lunch Wednesdays. No, 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 no. Midweek, Monday. So those who don't know, Monday's Frenchie's on a very a... specific diet where yep. it's um, handful of mints, no flavor, handful of cashews, handful of grapes. It's a one one ounce of mints. Ounce. Hundred grams, maybe. You're not even using hundred grams. Australian terminology. No, because because the missus got it from America, so an American mm. friend. Send it to her and they used ounces. So I think, no, maybe 100 grams. I don't know. No, that's too way too much. 10 grams. It's very little. 100 mince. grams, probably. It's a very little amount of mints. Um, anyway, uh, and then six grapes, six cashews, and a little bit of rice, like a quarter of like mm. a punnet of those uh, microwavable containers. Anyway, I'm going to the supermarket to get that. There's three lads. Fucking Frenchie. It was like sort of cool skater looking dudes, sort of Dero, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're hipster, Dero, whatever. It's hard to tell. Yeah, what are you up to, boys? This is uh, 2 p.m. I eat late. And they go, we're fucking getting on it, cunt. They go, what, on Monday? He goes, yeah, bro, we got cruises in the bag. <laughs> they had cruises. That's classic. <laughs> they just walk the around getting cooked with On cruises, a Monday bro, at 2. Like 20, 21 year olds. <laughs> fucking vibes, bro. That's mad. I had a guy in um, Parramatta Mall. He had a big beard, no moustache. It was a look, a very Western Suburbs look. Oh, yeah. And nice. he goes, YouTube cunt. <laughs> he's like, funny cunt, bro. I was like, thanks, man. And his girlfriend looked furious. Was he, was he ethnic? Yeah. Yeah, Neil always has those guys. At least they like us. Uh, I couldn't imagine being one of those personalities on YouTube that people hate. Because that'd be scary. It'd be scary going out in public. I think people like our uh, relatability and lack of success. Hmm. <laughs> you no, know, because we're on the YouTube, we're like in their medium. If we had gone, got on to the Today Show and we're on that now, they wouldn't like us as much. You reckon? Yeah, I think we're just one of them. Yeah, one of the... One of the boys, one, one of the, the girls. Boys. One of the One of the Australians. We're just whereas, a peer. Whereas uh, if we were like... Not lack of success. I didn't mean it like that. But I mean, if we went mainstream too quickly, they're like, oh, mm. fuck it. It's funny, lines. though, because I feel like people we grew up with, less supportive, probably think we're dickheads. 100%. Don't you reckon 100%, people like are kind of like look down on you? Like, oh, you think you're cool, don't you? You think you're good being bro. on YouTube? It's like, not really, bro. Just leave me alone. No, I'm just doing what I <laughs> I'm love. just the I'm same just person. <laughs> fucking love making videos. Yeah. Oh, you fucking think you're doing, you're better than us because you're doing something you love, fuckhead? <laughs> Do something you hate. You fucking what you be you, an adult. You left your town too. You fucking think you're better than us because you're on the fucking fucking one seven anymore. Yeah, I get that vibe, bro. Even my high school mates. I got uh, my high school mates, like my crew from high school, called the G Boys. <laughs> oh wow, why the G Boys? Because <laughs> when we were in high school, the Bra Boys were heaps big. They were the surf oh, gang. So like G-string. Yeah, like G-string. So mm. we called ourselves the G-boys, taking the piss, and then next minute we're using it seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so I caught up with them on Saturday night. I went down to um, uh, Shell Arbor, just past Wollongong. And they are the same. They like, it's one of those things is like, because you don't see your high school mates as much anymore the older you get. It's funny how quickly you relapse into the same roles. Mm. You're like, okay, we've caught up enough. Two, two minutes in now, let's fucking just rip on each other. 
let's just fucking go. It is fun. We're still just yeah, it's really nice. But yeah, they they, they definitely uh, I definitely don't talk too much comedy or videos around them. Yeah, <laughs> don't really appreciate it. <laughs> no, I remember one of my one of my mates down there listens to heaps of podcasts too. And you're like, have you um, checked out? I remember the last time I saw him, I told him about mine. He's like, I'm definitely going to check it out, man. You <laughs> didn't want to bring it up. <laughs> didn't bring it up. Yeah. It's a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I reckon it's a weird one. It's like if you know someone, you there's a bit of a shine lost where you're not as interested. I think it's a how well you know them. If you know them well, you're not as interested. Yeah. If you half know them, like I was always like my half mates from uni still hit me up with that yeah, fucking sick video, I, I agree. bruv. Yeah, no. Sick, I'm like, fuck, If thanks, it's like man. an acquaintance, yeah. they will still watch it. But if they like really know you, no. Yeah, nah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always, oh uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's an interesting one, but that's just that's a bit just of an life. insight into the world of us. But it's the world of, it's not, I guess it is, uh, it's all poppy. It's hard. There's always people who aren't happy for your success. And it's not just in our industry. It's, mm. it's any industry. It's if you're doing something out of high school that they are not expecting and they almost get jealous of, even if it's just starting your own business, often some people will be like, oh, fucking, what are you buying that for, you idiot? What are you, what are you studying that for? Even like people moving out of small towns moving where some people just town, continue man. like their family businesses or whatever, you move out so you're kind of, oh, you left us, you fucking hot shot. Yeah. There's that vibe. Yeah. Was um one of our ma- other mates from high school has a bar down there. He's it's like kind of new, and I was sick. We went out there, and then um when it was close up time, he just shut the doors, and we just went That's behind the, the bar best, and uh, we fucking drank some some detergent. Some of the drinks we were mixing were not. We're not alcohol, I don't think. That's that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know where we found them from, bro. <laughs> what, did, what, what do you mean? He was like, bro, this is delicious. Have you had dead hole? Oh, he didn't give a deal. The other mate mixed them. My other mate mixed them. Fucking Some fucking Bill Cosby shit going on there. I don't know, man. It was, a good, it was a good fun, though. The best one of those I've had is there was a guy I knew and his family owned a zoo. Oh, this is already the best story yeah. of the podcast. And his... <laughs> His family had the like, it used to be like a suite where people would stay, but they lived there. So you went into his house and in his lounge room was the back of the aquarium. Oh, So wow. there's like fucking sharks swimming past in his lounge room. You you look outside, there's bears. There's like a window, viewing window. Holy there's bears and lions and fuck. shit. And that's, we decided to smoke a joint that night. Wow. That, yeah, which I don't do often. No, but in that And we're situation. outside smoking a joint and you can hear fucking lions going skits, like roaring and stuff. And like, if this would be the worst time for them to get out. Oh, or the best sick. time. Because mm. I've seen Harold and Kumar enough to know. <laughs> Only good times. If you're smoking yeah, weed yeah. around an animal, often they will like to get high with yeah. you. Yeah. Like, dude, where's my car? There'll be an ostrich. Wasn't it the cheetah they rode? Yeah. With Harold and Kumar? Mm. Mm. Yo, so how old was your mate when he has this uh, aquarium bedroom? So he was, we were in, I was at uni, so I would have been like 19 or 20, so he would have been the same. He must have done some damage. Wow. That's impressive. He wow. always did have a lot of girlfriends. Bro, he literally, okay, A, you just be like any female you half know, you're like, yo, you want to you wanna go to the zoo? I think that's how I got invited, because I didn't know him that well, like pretty, pretty fine, but I think it's just like, dude. You want to uh, come check out then, my zoo and then you house? Know, you, you just take him to your bedroom. Like, yep. This is your bedroom. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I guess oh. I got to see a serpent before I see a lion. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that is the yeah, best it was place really cool. to live ever. Mm. That's like, that was like, I was in there and I was like, this is better than anything I've seen on MTV Cribs. Oh, 100%. It was fucking cool. I think they actually like rent it out now. Like for oh, people so like you can pay Airbnb. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, my mate proposed to his uh, girlfriend at, at a zoo. It was one of those ones where it's like a full glass window and there's a line outside. What's the coolest way to propose, do you reckon? Like that would have been cool if a snake came up or something and it had the ring on it. Mm. <laughs> I'm just trying to get creative. Gollum. Gollum. That's got fucking one ring, sick. One ring. Even like a makeup artist finds a child, <laughs> paints okay. them like Gollum. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. they come out of a cave when you're on a hike. That's yeah, sick. yeah, because you want him to be anatomically accurate. Yeah, you don't yeah. want completely naked child. <laughs> <laughs> Gollum, Gollum, the rings was, on his Gollum penis. was wearing a rag. Tom, Gollum was oh, wearing. I watched a different <laughs> one. It's the <laughs> porn version. <laughs> no one you watched. <laughs> you mean Gollum's dick wasn't out the whole film? <laughs> My precious, and he'd flick his cock a little bit. <laughs> 
go with. <laughs> it didn't take long to you, for you to use your catchphrase, completely naked child. That yeah, was. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Completely naked child. And that's when you put in the cue laugh. We probably got a few uh, listeners thinking about popping the question. Mm. So uh, here's some good tips. We got the golem one. What else have we got? We've actually got, um, we know, we've got a list that we read the other day that was um, the best places to propose ever. This was a list curated by many women. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. yes, and this yes. is the greatest places to propose. Mm. One is um, while she's unpacking the dishwasher. Yep. Just in the with the cutlery. With the cutlery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's that a was classic. that was definitely that was an honorable mention on the yeah. on the list. Uh, and don't unpack it like you've just got to leave it for a few days. So she's like, fuck. She gets a bit fed up. She opens it and then oh, the ring. Another good one is is using the boys, okay? Because mm. uh, obviously if you've got if you still call your mates the boys, she's gonna love that. That's yep. that's for us for a yep. fact. Yeah, uh, and you plan something romantic with her. Next minute, the boys rock up. Yep, she's initially upset. Oh, the boys are here. You take off for I don't know an hour. Do a Jaeger shots with the boys just to really sell the bit. Okay, do some Jaeger. Eventually, you got to find her where she's driven off to, uh, and then the boys go, "Yo, so Johnny's really sorry about like <laughs> us rocking up." And then the next boy coming, they've all got these palm cards prepared. And he wants to say that, do you want to be one of the boys for life, but his boy, but you're a girl. Yep, I love that. Yep. And then there's there's a chain, it keeps going. Yep. Then the next guy goes, he thought you were root, rootable when he first met you. And you're not bootable. Yep. Yep, yep. And then they... Um, and then one of them kicks a footy to show bootable. Oh, yeah. That that's is not you. That is... <laughs> 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 that is not you. <laughs> So fucking stupid. That is so good. No, that's really good. Uh, This this should be a sketch, (laughs) but we make it look like it's real, Mm. like an actual proposal. Yeah, I like that. That's funny. That is not you. When you get the boys to propose for you, (laughs) (laughs) that would be the end of a good. We we knew you were the one when he wouldn't show us the nudes. The nudes. (laughs) That would be the good end of a like a rom com. Mm. Yeah, it's called um. Married with the boys. Married, ooh, mm. like a reality show. Mm. We do like our reality shows on this podcast. True. Married with the boys. So that's one option, the boys. Um, so we've yes. got the dishwasher, the boys. Um, another one is called the psych. Um, this is a classic one. You'll see those videos where someone might propose as a joke mm. and then go, no, mm. I'm just kidding. And it's really embarrassing. Yep. So you get that reaction. She's you furious. She hits you. Yep. Then you get down again. <laughs> No, and you got to keep getting down. And then yeah. you do that every week for a year. Yeah. Really. It's called the boy who cried marriage. <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually, if she sticks around long enough, you know she's the one. Yeah, there you go. Mm. It's, it's so a bit it's of a, a trial. Test. It's a test, yeah. It's a test. Um, oh. And the last one? Uh, the last one, yes. I remember. I do remember the last one. It was a... Uh, <coughs> uh, it was sorry. It was. I was just thinking about um the last one, which we all know what it is. Yep. <coughs> yep. Everyone at home is getting ahead of you. Slow down. <laughs> uh, terrorism attacks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are a bad thing. Oh, okay. Good. I'm saying that. Mm. So, uh, you pretend you're going to do one. You're with mm. your significant other and out in public. Big coat on. Mm. You drop some blu- blueprints for a building. Yep, yep, yep. She goes, what are those on for? the table. Mm. And you go, I've got a bomb. And you go, and then everyone stops. And then if they don't stop, you keep yelling. You go, I've got a bomb. I've got a <laughs> motherfucking bomb. You make, the, you get that attention. And then you go, a bomb ass girlfriend. And I'm going to propose. <laughs> Yep. Yep. And then while that's happening, the boys <laughs> <laughs> steal stuff from all the stores for the engagement party because everyone's that. watching that. So it's like a double. And then she goes, "You don't it's even like a have a ring. You open your vest, mm. covered in hot dogs, like taped <laughs> together. The ring is on a pull cord, and you pull it, <laughs> <laughs> and then you give her the ring." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
that's a good one. It really gets people's Dumbest attention. And they're Dumbest. relieved. They, they're they more supportive because everyone around you thought they were going to die. And then they go, oh no, it's new love. Well, what do you think about... Uh, so, you know, it's like... Uh, new age. Women can propose to men. Mm. Obviously... Uh, what do you think about that? Oh, man. I actually heard of a girl I know who proposed to her now husband, I assume. She, yeah. She proposed to him. What do you think of that? It actually... Well, it makes... Well, like lesbians or the girls are the ones that propose. They don't bring in a guy. Like, it doesn't have to be a guy. No, I agree. I think whatever, whoever asks, there needs to be a conversation before. No. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Are we doing that thing where we encourage women to propose? <laughs> yes. That's what I said last week, isn't it? After a year, you've got to propose. Oh uh, no, I would, I would hate it because I feel like I'm, I'm a traditionalist, and I'm not. A, Are you Frenchy? Uh, I never yes. knew that about you. No, well, I'm not really, but like, I'm not the most masculine male to begin with. So I feel like if, if yeah, yeah, I know that you're on your mind. So I feel like if I don't get to do that, I'm on the back foot the whole the whole relationship. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do I have to plan the wedding if she proposes? So I'd rather not do that. I'm not a good organizer. You'd be terrible at organizing mm. a wedding. I can't even organize a tattoo, which I'm getting. Tom and Frenchy tattoo. Who's in? What are you going to get on it? Yeah. So I was thinking about this. So guys, I've been watching a lot of Ink Master. Oh, is that what's inspired mm. this? Have you seen it? I don't think so. I used to watch Miami Ink when that was a thing like 10 years ago. I saw that. And I didn't like it that much, but I've realized I just really like competitions. So now it's a competition. I can get around it. You are a very competitive, always want to win type of person. No. Yeah, yeah no, I'm going to play to lose. What the fuck is that, loser? <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the game. So I've gone heaps into it. So I just went through season one last night and this morning. Didn't get out of bed till like two. So you only just started and you've well, already decided. I watched... Mo- I b- Season 13, I watched some of that. Oh, uh, you're like, like Benjamin back, Button. Then I'm going yep. back. Yep, yep. <laughs> start at the end, work to the start. <laughs> so, and I was looking at my like sexy uh, white thighs as I'm watching. I'm like, mm. there's a lot of space on those thighs. Mm. I want to get something done. And then I was, you, I messaged you. I was like, when are we doing the podcast? I was like, looked up, saw a cool tattoo. I'm like, podcast tattoo. Ooh. And people have hit us up. They're like, you, we should get a podcast tattoo before. Can I pitch some tattoo ideas? Yep. So, uh, what's up, survivors, remainders, mm-hmm. li- children? Listen to these uh, tattoo. Well, children's still a good one, though, isn't it? Because it makes like where the where the parents where the parents. But I like that we're all survivors of something. We survived COVID. We survived the riots. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go too dark. I can feel you going there. It's too soon, mate. Okay, so my tattoo idea: you've got long legs, a lot of canvas to work with. You could start doing cool shit. One leg, mm-hmm. peg leg. Okay, okay. I was thinking more <laughs> tattoo that I could get, and everyone who wanted to get a tattoo could also get to it. rep the podcast could get peg leg. <laughs> so, okay, we're getting peg legs, guys, <laughs> or a bionic robot Terminator leg. Those are just two options. Throwing very, them out there. What cool. were you thinking? I was thinking a three-headed dog. Mm. So, what are they? So like Harry Potter. Everyone likes Harry Potter, especially us uh, millennials. Mm. Harry Potter, one he- head is uh, my face, one head's your face, other head, R. Kelly. <laughs> no, no, you can't get R. Kelly. You can't get R. Kelly. But then we get someone on the other head. And then if we... <laughs> like, oh, like like a someone. podcast meme. And then if we keep getting cooler, funnier memes, like, oh, Jeffrey Epstein. No, we can't get Jeffrey Epstein, do we? Why don't you get one of the And then we can keep just like... <laughs> competition what? to be on Frenchie's leg forever. Just a random listener. No, but like, and then listeners can be like, yo, this is my fucking favorite podcast. I get a lot of tattoos anyway. And then they're going to get a, a dog with your head, my head, and then another head. Mm. Not just for me, it's for everyone. Oh, so the third leg is up to you. The third head, it's on a the penis. Third it's leg, on a oh, penis. Jesus. Third head is up to you. So if your favorite episode was the one where... um, No, we should get a state head, but it's just, just got to be... Um, I'm the perfect, confused. The perfect head. Oh, so we've got to decide. We've got to decide. And then something that represents... Give me an example of what the third head could be. Because a lot of the stuff we talk about, you wouldn't want in a tattoo. No, I agree. But I like a... It's hard. I'm trying to think. Because we talk a lot about terrible people. Didn't we have two lists? People we hate and friends of the podcast? Mm. Mm. I can't remember the friends. I can't remember I can only remember Jimmy Fallon. (laughs) (laughs) 
and Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Just try, Jimmy Fallon. Try explaining that tattoo. Oh, yeah. Well, Frenchie really hates Jimmy Fallon for no reason. Oh, cool. You did a podcast <laughs> with Jimmy Fallon? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so she, uh, not his black face either. But <laughs> oh, you wow. cannot get that tattoo. Uh, that would be interesting. Mm. We'll, we'll 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 spitball some ideas, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of some tattoos. So this is um, I said to Frenchie when he told me this. I said, Frenchie, you're going through a midlife crisis. Joining the I army, I had getting mine. a tattoo. No, late I'm in joining life. Joining the army reserves. We've decided. You've decided. I well, you got to look into it. I didn't want to be a reserve though. I'm a first, As if I'm anyone's, a first teamer. That's if anyone's been an army reservist, I know um, some of you might have. Uh, give Frenchie some advice and say whether he should or shouldn't. Yes. That would be uh, appreciated. Yes. Or lie to him for a joke. Say, oh, it's great, but you hated it. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it is good. <laughs> oh, what else is going on? Um, I just had my mum visit me. Um, she hasn't seen my new place, so I had her staying with me all weekend, which is, it's always funny once you've moved out, having your parents come yeah, see your world. Don't like you reckon? I'm... I'm the adult now. I'm the adult now, bitch. Yeah, here's your spare room. I've just got some fresh towels for you. Yeah, <laughs> totally. You have to do all that shit. Be like, help yourself to the fridge. How's she looking? Fit. Yeah. No, nah, not really. No, nah, but like she's <laughs> got oh, it. She's got the charm. She's got it. I don't the know what X it is. Factor. Yeah, the X Factor. She's got the X Factor. <laughs> the MILF Factor, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was funny because she's such a character, but we're so different in so many ways. For example, just say we're at the shops and there's someone like, one of those people who's trying to sell something and you're like, avoid them at all costs. You know what I mean? Like a person in the middle maybe of a shopping center and they're trying to sell a fucking mm. frying pan. You go, I don't want that person to talk to me. I'm going to avoid them. My mum goes, goes for a chat. Goes for a chat. I'm like, mum, are you hitting on this old man? <laughs> With no intention of buying? I think she she could probably be persuaded. I feel like she might buy. So she's like, goes in, like, I'll give him a chance. Yeah. She goes in like it's Shark Tank. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, she goes she's in. She's Mark like, Cuban. "Oh, but Tom, it was a alpaca uh, uh, quilt." I'd be <laughs> like, "So what, mum? Don't talk to I'm in strangers." Tr- if your mum finds out about eBay, she's gonna be in trouble. The thing is, she is so technology. What's the opposite of savvy? Travi. Yep, she's Travi <laughs> about it, man. <laughs> she has no idea. She was trying to do some like job applications or something, and she was like. Okay, and how do I attach a file? I'm like, Mum, you click on uh, the finder window down here. Which one's that? Oh, the little man. I'm like, no, yeah, man. the little man, Mum. <laughs> and I go, now click on the file. I'm, yep, where is it? In your downloads. How do you get there? It's like that bad. Yeah, uh, bro, that's then, like then my girlfriend. Then Mum's like, you're not very patient, are you? I'm like, Mum, you might have something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's like teaching any parent anything oh, about technology. Everyone can relate. It's painful. Oh, it is. Nothing drives my patients down. Like, mm. I can put up with some shit. As soon as that happens, I'm like, I'm out, mum. You know, so we, with my parents, we had one parent would like teaching us to drive because they're the more patient one. They've got one kid, they like teaching them how to use a computer mm. because they're the patient one. I think I think my mum did try to get Will to help her Yeah, first. see, I feel like yeah. Will would be better than you. Yeah. Right? It's like Will's got much more patience, but that's because he hasn't been around as long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been ground down over the years. He's younger. <laughs> <laughs> He's still got some s- a sprightly nature. Yeah, but it's hard because like, what well, was around when your mum was growing up? We learned technology the age of one, I did. What was it? Uh, iPhone 8. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Yep. Bro, we were rocking Motorola's and She's shit. She's rocking letters, bro. She's yeah, rocking true. letters. True. So she knows what a file is. She's held one in her hand. Mm. How's it in there? How's it in there, Tom? <laughs> true. Very Milf. painful. What Milf. else did she do? Yo, yo, yo. I've got a question for you. Mm. So me and my cricket team had a massive argument about this. Ooh. And I cannot believe the height of some people. End up being mm. like six votes all. What is more of a MILF? An average looking 20 year old female with one kid or a hot 38 year old female with no kids? What is better? What is more of a MILF? The Is it a MILF if it doesn't have a kid? Was that the debate? I'm not going to say anything. I want you to, to decide. I'll just say the 38 year old. She's but saying, she doesn't have a kid! But that was. How's your- she a mum? It was your question, idiot. But that is the argument. <laughs> this is the argument. 
So you went on. The, you went on the. You went on Robbo's side. That's whose side you went on. But you you asked me the question. I didn't make but the I'm, frameworks for the question. But that is, I'm just saying, and that's like the, how you got to phrase the question. To get you said it. one was hotter. Yes, I agree. And then the question, I gave the right answer. But the 38 year old doesn't have any kids, so how is she a mum? I did ask that. And that's I don't, what I'm I don't saying. think she's a MILF. So we, I feel like we could turn you. There you go. So yeah. the 38-year-old isn't a MILF. No, she's not a MILF. There we go. So the, the, now this question. What I feel is, like 38 isn't that old these days. What is more of a MILF? Mm-hmm. And, that, and that's why I like... And they, they were arguing like, I like... It's in the name. Mum, I'd like to fuck. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I agree. Doesn't matter. As long as they're a mum. That's the one stipulation. They're like, no, but she's like, like got that MILF look. You know, you, you're looking up MILF porn. I'm like, what are you talking about now? It's... And it was a massive argument. We must argue for hours about it. That's funny. She could just tell me she's a mum and I'd be like, hell yeah. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we would like to bring you a sponsor. Yeah, Our good cool. friends are back. Breakfast shirts. The legends. Breakfast shirts. Oh, breakfast. Oh, you know COVID's over when breakfast shirts are jumping back on board. That's right. People, people are, are going out back out to breakfast. That's right. And need a shirt to wear it or at any other time. And pants. And pants. They have pants. Shorts. And not pants. And Unless they're pants chast- for children. Chastity belts. Nope. No. They but have hats. Th- but they'll need them if they see your breakfast shirt. That's right. You'll be dripping. want ya. And they're quick dry fabric, which will help because they'll be squirting. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And the guys will be hurting for a squirt. Guys are squirting too. Everyone's squirting. Mm. They are... <laughs> I wrote some notes down. We've got a winter stock sale at the moment. So if you're Ooh. if you've money's tight but you still want to get a breakfast shirt, now's the time. Winter stock sale. There's also an opportunity for a job. You might be jobless. You Ooh. might be on JobKeeper. Mm. And you're like, I might as well do something with my time. I'm getting paid to do nothing. No more army. They are looking for a breakfast shirt ambassador. Now let me just get up because I can't remember much. You get this up, and I want to say the cool thing about being a breakfast shirt ambassador is that, like a normal ambassador, you get diplomatic immunity, so you mm. can commit any crime you want <laughs> and not be charged for it. Uh, that's not quite <laughs> true. <laughs> All right. So what they're doing is giving someone a hundred a week for breakfast allowance for up to three months. You'll be decked out with four breakfast shirts. You will breakfast out at cafes three times a week and you just basically post on Insta stories, write some reviews about your breakfast and yeah, that's basically your Wait, job. So you got to go, but do you have to pay? Ha, ha, so I think the breakfast, for your breakfast. I think that's what the money's for to go to breakfast. That's sick. So they give you money, you go to breakfast for free. You just got to do a few posts going fucking. So they're looking for aspiring shirts. photographers, aspiring food bloggers, breakfast connoisseurs, connoisseurs connoisseurs insta hoes mm. coffee snobs fashionistas insta hoes anyone with a bit of banter um, milfs people who can't afford well, yeah, frequent breakfast milf. out but live for it and I mean you can get a lot of hash browns for a hundred dollars that's all I'm saying fuck off so, so guys don't forget you can also use the so promo code Tom and Frenchie for three breakfasts no three months three times a week mm. let's not crunch the numbers. No, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to figure out what I'd order. I'm trying yeah, to, I'm true. trying to figure out what I'd wear. Well, you'd wear a breakfast shirt. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Do they have breakfast hoodies still? Breakfast jumpers? Not sure. Could even wear it over it. That's how good these shirts are. You can wear them over jumpers. Mm. Wear them under jumpers. Mm. Wear them instead of jumpers. Mm. 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 Proposing one. Mm. That's that's a good idea too. Put it I on like the list. It. I like it. All right, guys, thanks to Breakfast Shirts. Use the promo code Tom and Frenchy. Check them out on Instagram at Breakfast Shirts. Um, their website, breakfastshirts.com, fuckpartyshirts.com. And yeah, thanks, guys. Fuckpartyshirts.com. I'm wearing my breakfast shirt now if you're a watcher. Mm, I love that one. If That's a good looking one. Yeah, bro. It's just classy, it's man. Butler. Whatever. I'm, mm. the, I'm the trendy one of the two. True. Yo, you're wearing a Navy jumper. How did I not see that? You're That's making funny. me shit about the Army. I'm just trying to... S- I'm slowly giving you clues that I want you to join. You're joining the Navy. I'm joining the Navy. <laughs> that's what it is. You got their... Mm. That's their official outfit. Make the joke. There's an easy joke to make. What is it? It's not about semen. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll give you a minute. Are you joining the Navy because when you see men, <laughs> you think, I wish that was a boy. <laughs> Yeah, that's boy right. like a navy boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no that's I'm what I was setting you up for. <laughs> Damn, he's he's good. Fuck 
fucking can't He's stop, good. won't stop. Uh, let's get back into the news, guys. We've, we've covered our news. Mm. News is still going on. Protests are still going on. In Seattle, they've captured a city. Is this true? That was what I said. Well, I just heard on Joe Rogan's a, podcast. It's true? Well, Joe, Rogan Joe Rogan's Bill talking Burr about it. That's talking better. About it. Yeah. What, tell, tell me the news. Essentially, they've captured uh, seven blocks around Seattle's town hall. How'd they capture They didn't really capture it. They're like, this is ours now. And the police like, fuck, we'll just get head out of this seven blocks. Mm, because it's not uh, safe. It, we just don't want to start some shit. You just can have your peaceful protest. And then when we got to get back to work, we'll, we're going to move in. But it's Are they like, looting it and shit? No, no, no. It's like it's like half. It's like, but Antifa has joined up with the protesters from the thing, so it's like kind of a bit of a weird situation because Antifa have, have got their Antifa? own agenda. Antifa. Antifa. Ant- Ant- Antifa is it? Yeah. Damn it. Oh no, I'm never gonna hear the end about what did I mispronounced last week. Oh, you you've done it before. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> is that not how you say it? <laughs> yeah, sure. It was squirrel. Yeah. No, I said it fine. Uh, yeah. How do you say it? Squirrel. Oh. It's your eyes you can't do, bro. And Professor Quirrell. See, that was better. Harry Potter. So try Squirrel again. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you trying to say square root? <laughs> squirrel. The square root of what? <laughs> no, it, just, it sounds... That's how you say it. It's not. Oh, anyway, you. I don't know enough about this Seattle uh, situation. So they're taking over. It's, it's kind of interesting. That's, yeah, that's weird, bro. Dave Chappelle dropped a special on uh, YouTube. YouTube. It's not really a special. It's more like he wanted to do a show. It's his first show in 86 days. Is it? And he wanted to do a show. And it's not really a comedy show. He's talking about Black Lives Matter. It's about the movement. It's about mm. what happened to George Floyd. And it's fucking powerful. It's really... Yeah, I really have to watch that. It's really good. It's Because really he's always good. been really on top of that stuff like he, yeah he, he's really outspoken about it he's great the the longer he's done comedy the more and more he's he's already been preaching about it it's it's just he's very uh when i was watching it what i what i was I will notice he's a very good public speaker so now because his initial specials it was still like amazing but he's a much better talker now because he's just the really good comedians and public speakers embrace the silence. Mm. So they will like just let this silence go. And, and they're so confident. They're so... And people just respect them so much. The silence just builds and you're like, oh, this is just so... They don't need to rush anything because they're mm. not... A, they know what they're going to say after this silence is going to be so good. Mm. And, then, and so is everyone watching. And that's what he does in this. He's just so... I have to check it out. I've seen um, new comedians try that, like newish. Mm-hmm. Doesn't work because they don't have the the jokes to back it up. And also, like the silence, it's just waiting for hecklers when they're shit. Yeah, especially new yeah. comedians. Yeah. yeah, you have to you have to have the rhythm to get the silence right. If you're talking about something like bringing it down a bit, you're gonna have more. Jim Jeffries does it really well. He'll have more silences when he's talking about something serious. There's there's mo- like I don't have too much silences when I'm doing bits because I get a lot of hecklers, which is mm. annoying. I like if I'm doing a bit bit, I'd like to be able to let the jokes breathe, have a sip of my drink, but then someone yeah. just yell out, "Do a fucking shoey!" Yeah, <laughs> they would. <laughs> they do. They bro. do. Yeah, <laughs> they do. You brought that on yourself. Yeah, but I'll, <laughs> it's slowly like the the more better fans I get, which is just me releasing better bits mm. the more that'll go and 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 it gets it does get to the point it shows where people are like shut the fuck up mm. just listen he's it's his show yeah and that's me just developing my craft over time you still got to earn the silences man mm. if you haven't the crowd doesn't respect you like i don't know this person i'm not gonna let this silence go too long without him doing something good <laughs> no. like in the comedy room yeah i agree like the person i was talking about they didn't they sh- should have had some quick fire ones at the start yeah, to exactly. get people to be like, this guy's funny instead of spacing out these things being like, what exactly. is going on If here? they have this yeah. spaced out thing and then the first punchline's not good enough, like, eh, yeah, you've lost me. Yeah, But I, in while we're talking about that, I, um, guys, tomorrow or the next time you're going to announce not the ruthless new tour dates yet. They're still getting ordered around. 
but uh, a comedy show called Frenchie and Friends. Ooh, friend cheese. Friends. <laughs> Football friends. Football friends, yay. So I'm just keen to get back on stage. You guys are probably keen to see some more comedy, get out and do things. Every Tuesday night, August and September, I'm going to be doing a variety comedy show. It's just going to be me trialing new bits, doing classics, and then... um. I'm going to have some sick fucking acts, headliners, some of our friends, Tom, Isaac, Neil, a lot of other comedians will we'll jump in, pop in. It's just going to be a fun vibe. And tickets are only going to be 15 bucks. Sick. Yeah, right. Just Sydney, either? Just Sydney. Yeah. Just Sydney. Because uh, cause we don't know when we're going to be able to travel to other states. I didn't want to announce other shit. You know what I mean? Fair. But this is just like a fun Warm comedy up. show. Bit of fun. Have a few get a, beers. Get a bit loose. Taco Tuesdays? Is it? I don't know. We'll bring tacos. I just think about food because we'll it's dinner time. Yeah, bro. I could go some mince, actually. <laughs> some mince and rice. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Living the dream. <laughs> Did you see I tagged my um friend who's like a nutritionist in your post? Being like, what are your thoughts he on said, this? He said, what the fuck? What did he say? He said, um, you'll probably lose a lot of weight through tears. <laughs> 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 but what's so dumb is that I'm breaking even because I'll do this like no really small portions crack diet during the week but on the weekend i'm just fucked like i had yeah like, i don't know i would have had fucking 12 14 beers on saturday night plus bourbons and cokes which aren't good yeah. for you no not at all you really just um putting it back on you just w- maybe get breaking even not even but at least you're trying some days yeah it's better than not trying yeah bro well if you go hard all the time if you have cruises on a 2 p.m on, on a monday you're gonna yeah it's gonna catch up with you <laughs> <laughs> no it, it, it's better than nothing yeah I just want to get some vegetables in there. There's no fucking vegetables in it. It's grapes and cashews. Why the fuck am I having grapes and cashews, rice and mince and no vegetables? It doesn't make any sense to me. That's not even things that go together. <laughs> no, That's the weird bit. No, it's not. It's really strange. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could have at least made a meal out of it somehow. Uh, nah. I watched a um, new show on Netflix. Tell me about it, Tom. It's called Unorthodox. You'd hate it. It was really interesting. Why it's would I hate it? Because it's a drama. Know, can you see him profiling me? Stereotype. It's a drama. I like dramas. Some dramas. Subtitles? Nope. I hate it. <laughs> 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 yeah, you got me. You got uh, me. <laughs> mostly subtitles, not the whole thing. It's about in... Have you... You've been to New York? Well, the accents are that strong. They need a subtitle. Mm. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Have you been New to New York? York? It's the Big Apple. Yo, I'm walking here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Broadway. I'm in New York. It's the Brooklyn Bridge. I'm walking here. I'll just, I'll just let him finish. Yeah, Madison Square Gardens. All the Knicks are playing. Ah, you want a pretzel? It's a me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Went Italian at the end. <laughs> there's a, there's Italian Americans who live there. Oh, it's gotcha, very gotcha. close to Jersey. Go on. So, have you been there? Was the question? Yes, I've been there a couple times. Um, in like Brooklyn, have you been to Brooklyn mm. across the bridge? There's a lot of Hasidic Jews, the guys with the curls. Acidic. Hasidic. Oh, what does that mean? They th- they got the curls and the big hats. Oh, Hasidic is uh, Hebrew for curls. I don't know what it is. Mm, I knew you Th- didn't. I was just fucking. Yeah. But that's the type of Jew yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're orthodox. Just very religious. Yeah. They're orthodox. Okay, so they're like yeah. a real extreme side of the Jewish religion. It's yeah. not everyone. Um, and it's about that. It's a girl being in that world and then trying to escape. Um, so, like, they, they get... M- trying to escape? Yeah. And they're fucking chasing her and shit. Yeah. Fucking hell. Like, it's super extreme. It's basically like a cult. Is it real? Yeah. Like, based on a real story? Williamsburg in, in Brooklyn is, like, where they live. Yeah. Fucking hell. And what but she, it's not, it's she not wants real. to marry, it's like. A, but it's a real, but it's a. Who she wants to marry, yeah, yeah. But it's like based on, like, there's. They have source. arranged marriages. Yeah, so she doesn't want to marry this. this. She does. Um, well, she doesn't really. It's arranged, but it's not the worst. But she's young. And then it's all about having babies because they're trying to. Their whole thing is that they're trying to repopulate all the. All the Jews that the Nazis killed is like their religious focus. Mm hmm. So, like, they have heaps of kids. It's like a... That's what women's job is, to have kids. Mm. Do they get paid? Do they get paid? For having kids. It's not a job unless they're getting paid. They get a uh, contra food? Well, that's not good enough. Then they need to negotiate terms, but if they expect her to be her job. 
Mm. So I don't, I don't know about Would these guys. Would you do it if you could? If if men could uh, so you be say surrogates, it's a woman's job to have a kid. I'm like, if they're not getting paid, it's not their fucking job. Okay, if they agree to a contract. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say that. You did say that, Tom. <laughs> did everyone get you that? If you could be paid <laughs> to be a surrogate, Fuck if there no. was a way for you to hold babies. Oh, bro, then I could eat twice as much mince. Yeah. I'm eating for two. Mm. Um, you could have no, like six bro, grapes. No, Fuck no. Why? You can't drink for nine months. Mm. But what if I was paying you, can't you good? Go on roller coasters for nine months. What if I was paying you good? How good? I'm giving you uh, 250000 a year. 250,000. Okay, yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. There we go. Everyone's got their price. The trick is what uh, when they they don't want to give it up when they have the kid, surrogates, mm. because they get attached to it and stuff. Yeah. I don't think you'd have that issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, not if it's a girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. The t- <laughs> I guess you just can't look at them when they come out. If you don't look at them, Mm. But then if you look at them, you're like, oh, that's cute. I it was wanna, like I a little lanky Frenchie. And it would cost me 250k to keep it. No, he'll would, he would be gone. Mm. Take, take him. Yep, yep. I don't think I've got the genes to be a surrogate. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, Because you want to pick strong genes. Yeah, they're like, I want a, a hot doctor. They want George Clooney from um, when he's a doctor. Yeah, well, they're going to have to pay a bit more than that. Maybe 270. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> George Clooney's carrying my child. Yeah. That's a fucking headline. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the sort of thing you see in those fucking papers, those, those made up <laughs> ones. <laughs> Take five or whatever. Oh, I'll tell you, it'd be funny to go to a supermarket, but you printed all your own covers and put them back on the Take Fives. Oh, I just make, that's like, heaps Angelina cool. Jolie found out she has a second, a twin attached to her hip. Yo. Just like fucking cooked stories. Even better. Mm hmm. Let's print off a whole magazine. Wow. Put it in there and um and then like slip it in and so they're trying to buy it or whatever. They hopefully they can buy it even though it won't scan. Maybe we'll keep the barcodes the same. Keep the barcodes the same. Yeah. Heaps good. And, and then, just heaps and then cooked we just stories. Get made up stories. And in the <laughs> middle is just a pull out poster of us <laughs> that you can put on your wall. <laughs> <laughs> and we give out all fake coupons and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, I've got a free massage for you. It's like, no, what the fuck? Where'd you get that from? <laughs> free roller coaster. I've got it from Take Five magazine. We put some of our enemies' phone numbers in there. I've had this idea for other things as well. I wanted to, when I worked at a video store, I wanted to like take the DVD and then just film the end Porn, scene myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sick. So like Titanic, but then it just cuts to this real weird scene that I've just made. Like in a pool, like you yeah. with the with the bodyboard, and you're like, "Don't get off the bodyboard." Yeah, and then it just ends, <laughs> and it's the real credits, That's and people be like, well, "What?" And then I wanted to do it for music videos as well. Just down, wait for like Ricky Lee or someone like that to release a song, quickly download it, shoot my own scene, and re-upload it almost exactly the same. But I'm in there drinking some milk. Oh, that's something like that. Good. Then hope that my version goes viral over hers. And so, so just one scene is different. Yeah. So it's still the same song. You've just turned yourself into an extra within the video. In one scene. Doing something weird. Yeah. That'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. There's um, a friend of the podcast, Neon Coil Hot Cars, in a Guy Sebastian music video. I remember that. And he's that fighting so him. It's so <laughs> funny. It's so extra work. It's so good. That's funny. Oh, man. we need to talk to him about that next time he's on the potty. Because it's just like out of all the Dragon characters beat. you would cast to to be the brawler at the nightclub, they pick Neil, who's who's all short, and he's not like a brawler either. He's like mm. he's such a lovable human. Do you reckon he'd um, beat Guy Sebastian in a fight? Yeah, he'd beat Guy. <laughs> Guy would just start praying. Please, God, smite my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Uh, Tom, I want to I want to get your take on this, okay? And I think all our listeners do. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Black Lives Matter movement's gone mm-hmm. great, and I think it's I think it's awesome. <laughs> Where are oh, the movement? Okay. The movement. Yep. So yep. the movement's going well. There. We're hoping to see real changes, but then there's been some side effects, which some I get, some I don't feel like I get. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm interested for your take on it. Netflix getting rid of mm. all of Chris Lilly's stuff. Mm. Except the series they made. Right. 
Uh, so I'm interested in your thoughts on, on this. Yeah, it's a weird one. Um, because what what were the characters that were offensive? It was I Jonah com- from Tonga. I completely get the Smouse one because that was legit blackface. I remember when he did it when he was the American rapper. I was like, "Yo, is is everyone all right with this? That's just fucking." Yeah, and that was that was too. Yeah, that was strange. I was like, "Why are you doing that?" It was um, it was probably because it was around the time that like um. Robert Downey Jr. did blackface. Uh, no one cared about that. Yeah. So yeah. Like, so they were like, "Oh, we can do it." Well, we didn't. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, 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 th- there was that one. Yeah. Go on. Jonah from Tonga yep. removed. Summer High Tie because that had Jonah, Jonah from, from Tonga. Tonga. And what about um the one before that? We can be heroes. I'm pretty sure got removed too. He did do Asian character. Yep. Was that why? Because he did Ricky Wong. Yeah, maybe that was why. I actually, I, I've found that. Maybe it didn't get removed. I think I it did. I found that really funny. It was hilarious. Bro, like, oh, it was really funny. But, uh, I mean, who am I to fucking say? Well, I don't know. I think it's pretty... I don't think you can do Asian characters. I don't think we would ever do that. True. Uh, but what did you think about Jonah from Tonga again removed? I don't know. I've never spoken to a Tonga or a b- Tongan about it and whether they find it offensive. That's what I found it insane. Some oh white God. ass Netflix executive is like, Jonah from Tonga is f- making fun of Tonga culture. Do you think it was culture. a Netflix executive? I don't 100%. think. 100%. Because there's someone in charge of Netflix so we don't want this on Netflix anymore. No, it would have been It wasn't like there was a petition. There would have been complaints. But I'm saying, have, have that, did they speak to Tongan people? They're like, do you, do you like this representation of, of you guys? Probably not. No, because I was looking underneath. Isaac did a video about a lot of people saying, I'm from Tonga, I'm an islander, blah, blah, mm. blah. I fucking love it. Yeah. Like, he's taking the piss, but he does it in such a nice, lighthearted way, blah, blah, blah. It's yeah. Like, it's not an ac- perfectly accurate representation, but it's not uh, completely offensive. It's just... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough one. I think it's... Like the one that I found interesting was Faulty Towers. That is fucking insane, that one. Um, so there's They've a... They've lost their fucking mind with do that. Do you know what episode it yeah, was? Yeah, the Germans. Yeah, so there's an episode where some German guests come to stay at the um, hotel and Basil Faulty, like, whenever he's around him, he'll kind of... <laughs> he's do he's like, don't mention the war, don't mention the war. Don't, men- it's cause don't mention the war because they don't want to bring up uh, the awkward times they had in World War Two when half of... The German population tried to kill millions of Jews, mm. so that that's why it got removed. But that's insane, and I reckon there'd be so that much. That is comedy insane. Back like then. he accidentally did like the Nazi walk and stuff like that. Like there's all these things. He accidentally got a mustache, a mustache burned onto his face, like a or was it a shoe polish. Or I something. think the weirdest one about that is it's I was like self. What? It's very self aware of what it's, it's doing. Very self aware. I'm like, why are you deleting that? Like. I almost understand the Jonah from Tonga more in the sense that it is someone playing a character that they're not that heritage. But in that one, they're giving it context that this is a dumb character. Saying, Don't. It's a dumb character. They he's self-aware, knowing not to do something, but finding self- themselves he's saying, fall we, into we it. We are over what happened in the war. Let's not mention it. It's it's an awkward situation when you put your foot... It's about putting your foot in your mouth. And then he accidentally and then he does, the, does it the whole yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. time. And it's like... I don't know. I feel like someone had a good point. I can't remember who said it, but they were saying like, I'm surprised that's why and not like how he treats his Manuel or whatever his yeah, name is. Yeah, like that's way worse. I think that's worse. So that, that was... And shout out to our German listeners too. We always seem to mention you in the nicest context. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same We do have a few, but... Yeah. We at do. The, at the same time, it's kind of... um, It's a weird one because Faulty Towers is... Even, even um, Chris Lilly stuff, like it's so... so Historical. It's meta. Faulty bro. Tower more. Like, that is a historical piece. You can't delete. It's like, okay. Sure, we've evolved. That's y- good. If we evolve, it is good, but you can't delete things that don't fly now because. It, with exceptions. No, I mean, we can't it, say. I'll say with exceptions. Right. Yeah. With exceptions, 100%. But often when you see something that hasn't stood the test of time, you realize how fucked up society was back then. Mm-hmm. And you really think about, yo, are we still doing that now? Like, yeah. Eddie Murphy's uh, special Raw. Yeah. I think when he, he said the F word a lot. It yeah. was the most homophobic thing I've ever seen in the first 20 minutes. Mm. And uh, that shouldn't be delayed. That shouldn't be taken from Netflix because everyone who watches that is going to be like, holy fuck. They, the times are so homophobic. Are we still being homophobic now? Let's. And I think even Eddie Murphy people. would look back at that and go, geez, I was homophobic. Eddie Murphy That's hates not okay. It, doesn't you, know? he sh- yeah. you should delete it. You know yeah. what I mean? It's a comment. And, but, uh, 
But yeah, it's a it, tough one. Here's what I heard read why they deleted Jonah from Tonga was because he did a shade of uh, darkening his skin. Mm. So it was a shade uh, of blackface. That's what they said, okay? Wait mm. for this. He played a South African lady on Lunatics, which was the one Netflix funded and made. He darkened his skin to play the South African lady. Did he darken his skin? Yes, who talks as much as he did for t- t- John, uh, John from Tonga at least, mm. who are... Uh, who talks to animals, but that one's still up, even though it's oh, so his skin's his skin's almost darker playing that character. Uh, I disagree. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. <laughs> because I, I think because I was reading articles they about were it. Technically, trying they to play that saying, off as white. They were white saying, South African, right? They were saying it's because they ne- they funded that one. They don't want to spend well, all this money. They don't want to spend all this money and then delete it from the thing. So like, no, we fund it. It's fine, but all these other shit's fucked. So what was that called, Lunatics? I don't know, man. I don't know, <laughs> what do you man. Mean? I you just told me to look it up, so I'm looking it up. Oh, uh, Lunatics. No, I was just saying, oh, like, I don't know, man. It's hard. It's like... Yeah, it's totally... I don't I don't have the answers, that's for sure. Like, are they going to come for Robert Downey Jr.? Probably. And that's why on this podcast, guys, we don't... We never claim to have the answers. We just try to have a conversation about it. Yeah, we don't know shit. So, but we, and that's what I like about the the. And you should be able to have a conversation about these things with people being like, "Yo, you said that in half your sentence." You know what I mean? Cancelled. And that's why I was like, we don't know exactly. I fucking think it's uh, getting a bit ridiculous cancelling Chris Lilly, but I can see why they would for the Smouse character because that was hundred percent just, just like everything you're taught not to do nowadays. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. They got rid of an Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode. Did they? Yeah. Just one episode. Because Mac does blackface. Yeah. But, but yeah. It, but I get it's it. it's so yeah. self-aware. It's like the whole lesson of watching that episode is like, that's fucking wrong. There's yeah. no... Con- like, it's teaching you a lesson. They're not racist and they're not stupid. The people who make that show. Oh, you know what I mean? Man. Yeah. But the, But it's like... Uh, it's a new world, Frenchie. We're moving into a new all world. these people making the decisions are just people who's trying to look after Netflix's bottom line. Probably. Yeah. It's business. It's business, bro. But there is also a lot going on in the world at the moment. Yeah. So it's hard to know where we're going and hopefully it's a positive way. Well, yeah. If that's, that's, if that's going to make for. a difference to, to making, bringing about change and equality. And exactly. Uh, getting... It's just, um, yeah, it's, it's a wild time at the moment. It's wild, wild west, baby. Mm. And we're going to do one or two more stories to bring this up, end it on an up note. All right, Frenchie. Mm. Frenchie's going to do an impression. I get too sad <laughs> if we <laughs> ended on serious conversations. Do you? Yeah, bro, I do. And I'm like, oh, I just have to go and do my tattoo wormhole thing about what tattoos I'm getting. Oh, can you have tattoos in the army? Yeah. Yes. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you may. Bro, why didn't Hogwarts write to me? Should be in Hogwarts right now. Bro, you're having a midlife crisis, I'm telling you. Yeah, I think I've already had it. This is a fucking <laughs> quarter life crisis, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking up stories. Stay, stay, stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with me, brothers. Have you ever drank shampoo? No. Yeah. Frenchie, you do it in every second video. I, know, I really like it now. I think I'm getting a you taste love for it. Yo, the Rage Against the Machine one is hilarious. Tell me about it. So, Rage Against the Machine. And I want to get the tweets up so I do it properly. They're banned from my youth. They're fucking incredible. They're very... Uh, pol- they're always a very political band. They're always, uh, their music is a, is a message or always has been. And they... I want to see what they posted first because a number of right-wing conservative fans had a problem with something they posted. I'm trying to get what it was. I think they come out and talked about the, the, the Black Lives Movement or something like that. And the Twitter addressed the rock band. I used to be a fan until your political opinions come out. Music is my sanctuary and the last thing I want to hear is political bullshit when I'm listening to music. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> How did you used to be a fan of... Uh, of Rage Against the Machine and not now that and that's what all the responses are just fucking ruining this that's cunt's funny. life. They're like, 
What do you think they were raging against? The washing machine? <laughs> <laughs> the lawn? The drying machine? Tom Morello wrote, Scott, what music of mine were you a fan of that didn't claim contain political BS? I need to know so I can delete it from the catalogue. Oh, shit. Yes. That's all right. That's you, bro. Yo. That sounded like Scary Spice. <laughs> that was... <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, but and then yeah, so it's like all these killing in the name of all those songs are all political. Some of those who work forces, and that's the police, are the same that burn crosses. They say quoting the name. It's it's so good. Congrats to everyone. Just found out Rage Against Machines political band. Next, you should check out my favorite puppy calendar, Animal Farm. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's very edgy. oh very clever. Very clever. All right. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there's a photo of them 1999 burning an American flag on stage. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a joke. Do you reckon people find out that my band's political? I don't think anyone's expecting that. It is, bro. It's all metaphors. It's all allegories. You don't even know. Uh, nachos. I do. Tonight, we're going to eat some nachos. What's that about? That's about uh, boat people. Oh, wow. It's about how the government just fucking uses them like their nachos are just... just um, would have been a better example, maybe building or building the wall in Mexico because nachos are Mexican. Uh, no, that's why. No? It's so <laughs> okay, deep. okay, that's why it's so deep. <laughs> a treasure chest hidden in the Rocky Mountains for a decade has finally been found. Guys, there is still treasure out there. We've just we've just got to look for it. So that's why Frenchie's getting a peg leg tattoo, and we're going in a boat. How is there treasure still out there? That is so cool. Thousands of brave souls have ventured into the Rocky Mountains for the past decade searching for a treasure chest with gold, rubies, emeralds and diamonds. But that adventure has finally come to an end. The treasure has been found. Forrest Fenn, <laughs> the 89-year-old art and antiques collector who created the treasure hunt, made the announcement Sunday on his website. Well, some dude just created it. That's mad. That's like a kooky movie. Yeah, I love that. Like Rat Race. If you were a billionaire, you would you treasure? do something? 100%. That's mad. How much treasure was it? It was under a canopy of stars in the lush, forested vegetation of the Rocky Mountains and has not moved from the spot where I hid it more than 10 years ago. Oh. Fenn wrote in his announcement, I do not know the person who found it, but the poem in my book led him to the precise spot. That's cool. So he's like, oh, a, that's sick. It was like national treasure. It was Nicolas Cage, 100%. Guys, if you watch back at all Frenchie's videos, there is a number of clues. Yes. It might be a glint in his eye that points a certain direction. It might be the way his abs are drawn on. Mm. Mm. Yeah. These are and all and leading you to a lead fortune. To a fortune. The fortune that's already inside of you. Because friendship is the real treasure. Treasure what you have. That's beautiful, man. That was in a fortune cookie. <laughs> How much money was it? Was it doubloons? I hope he like transferred it He said it, it was diamonds doubloons. and... Oh, diamonds. He said that. Rubies and <sighs> gold. That's so cool. One million dollars. Worth over one million dollars. So while you've been in COVID, just sitting on your ass, you could have been hunting for treasure, Frenchie. You could Fuck. be a millionaire. Do you reckon there's treasure in Australia? I don't know. It's 100% in, in, in Mount Druid if there is. It's a thousand. You reckon? Percent. Yeah. It'd yeah. be the coolest place to hide it. <laughs> What do you reckon, like, at the train station? Station. Yeah. station. That's why they're always fighting there. They're fighting over the treasure. Mm. <laughs> Maybe it's hidden in a ciggy butt. Ciggy. <laughs> Give me the fucking treasure. I found it. That's mad. That's crazy. There's oh. hope for us. I always have... Sometimes... Do you ever have dreams where you find, like, a case of money or something? No. Is those the sort of dreams you have when you're awake? You're like, what would I do if I had this much money? Or you legitimately... No, legit dream... And then I'll wake up and I'll be disappointed because it was a dream. It's like, fuck, I found millions of dollars last night. In a case. In a case, in a bag. Um, you have it more than one occasion. Yep. Fuck off. That's mm. a good dream, man. Mm. But it's disappointing because you wake up. Better dream is if you're having a stress time in your dream. Something's going on. You've stressed out. You wake up. Nope. Relief. You, you wake up more stressed. You're like fucking heart's racing. You're sweating. You're like fucking hell. And you're always checking to see if that cunt's still coming for you. But you, you don't realize it's a dream, Frenchie. Bro, I had a... <laughs> <laughs> Frenchie still thinks dreams no, sleep, I had sleep paralysis again last night. Fuck, do you ever get it? No. It's the worst, man. 
What so happens? You wake up and look in the mirror and see yourself. <laughs> no, sleep paralysis. <laughs> oh, okay. Is, yeah, I know is, what it is. Is when you you're you asleep, see like a but you think you're awake saying. and you can't move, and it's creeping in on you, and you just you're like, I know I'm asleep, but I'm not, and you're trying to throw the covers off. At least just fucking get it twitchy and so you can wake up. Fuck, I had it again last night. That's annoying. What do you do? Do you cry? You can't cry. You can't move. You could cry without moving. Can't even blink. Really? You <laughs> think your eyes are just open and you're just watching. Sp- feeling something creeping towards you but you're ex- in that exact position on your bed you went to sleep in so you can see the exact fixtures up above you you know you can see mm. the dead prostitutes all around you wow <laughs> what does the creature approaching you look like it's just uh, just like a big head often not a creature it's often just like a, a vibe of like something you mm. like fuck sometimes it is a, is a person once in a while guys like a i person. sneak into frenchie's house and you wait when he's on sleeping me. and you i fucking wank. louis ck on me you cheeky fucker. and then he wakes up and he's not moving you i cheeky, finish you then cheeky leave the room. fucker mm. let's finish this off with our number rendition of survivor yeah i like that and we're gonna do all three minutes do we need the lyrics up no we're gonna freestyle that, That's didn't what, go that was well. the problem no the problem was we tried to stick to what that was too much Okay. We gotta do us. Okay. You All do right. you. It's got a long instrumental. Yeah, we fucking We are the instrumental. Woo! Passport. Tom and Frenchy. Roll Paris. Remix. Do you have your milk? Yeah, remix, motherfucker. Tom's the Beyonce. Tom's the Beyonce. Frenchie's Michelle. Frenchie's Michelle. Who's the other one? Yeah, who's the other one? Xander's the other one. <laughs> Xander, our little apprentice. Let's go. Let's go. This is about this is about all you can eat Pizza Hut. Yeah, gonna get some pasta. All you can eat. Oh wait, I'm not allowed to eat. I'm on my fucking diet. Tom and Frenchie, survivors, come get some at their desk every night, once a week. Coming for your eardrums, fingering them like they got a skunk butt. Ooh, that smells. Tom, take it away. I've got to wait for the beat. 100 grams of turkey. And I've got some grapes, Ooh. about six of them. I've got some cashews because yeah. I am hungry. My name is Frenchie and I am chunky. Gobble, I- gobble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Tom's making fun of my diet, but maybe he should try it. <laughs> Wearing that blue navy jumper. Ooh, make a joke about semen, he yells from his... Range Rover Hunter. Oh, that's a type of guy. He's got his gun out, dick in his hand. Looking at a kid as he nails him in the hand. Oh, just splash. It wasn't a kid. It was his dream. Ooh. Wake up. Over now. Snap back to reality. <laughs> Frenchie's wearing a wife beater. Okay. But he is nothing but a dick eater. Yep. He is saying words. I think his name is Beryl. Yep. But when he starts to talk, he always says squirrel. Squirrel, coming for your nuts, yo. Gonna <laughs> get your nuts. Climb up the tree. You got the buck. You got the wood. Oh, Ooh. that's what I like to see. Is is it for free? I'll pay you five bucks for a taste of that nut. Oh, oh my wait, God. back up. It's just your butt. Wow, yeah. butt eaters. Yeah, I, I do more like beat poetry than rap. Mm. Mm. It gets very um, gay themed. <laughs> what was gay about that? I'm sucking dicks from a squirrel. What was sucking gay on his nuts. about I that? I don't know, man. It's that, fine. It was about like almond nuts. Almond? There's another word at it to oh, the list. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks for listening, no, guys. we just got over squirrels. Uh, thanks to Breakfast Shirts. Love you long time. Ciao. Almond. Almond, uh, almond dude. Oh.